We call this next exercise fly fishing. It teaches us to be aware of how much we lend our emotional energy to the world around us. We are responsible for charging the world with our emotion or learning to drain all the energy out of it. The first exercise I give Shana is to hit the ground. Notice that as I exhort her to hit the ground harder and harder, how her face begins to change as she automatically, unknowingly, starts to pump emotional energy into her gestures. So what I want you to do now is I just want you to take your lead rope and hit the ground as if you're like swatting at a fly. And maybe get a little more rhythmic. Good. And now what I'd like you to do is just hit the ground a little bit harder. and harder and I really want you to hit that ground I want you to pound at it that's it okay and I want you to relax now take a breath okay I just want you to realize how much power and energy and emotion you started putting into that the next exercise we're going to use is designed to teach us that we can put energy into an object or drain it out so first we ask Shana to put her focus on the lead rope and let her emotion charge out into the lead and you'll notice Mato readily moves over and gets out of the way. In the next exercise she's also swinging the lead rope but directing none of her emotional energy towards Mato and he simply stands still. He can clearly tell the difference between when Shana is using the lead rope with intention and when she is not. In this next exercise, we're going to ask Shana to do the same thing, but this time with a training wand or a small whip. In one situation, Shana uses the whip to direct Mato away from her, and then we ask her to drain the energy out. You'll see here there's a momentary flicker of the whip that he responds to, right there. And then he calms back down as she reminds herself to breathe. This next exercise, we're asking Shana to drain all of the energy out of the whip. You'll see she starts slowly, but very quickly she's able to take that whip and bring it across the horse's back without any reaction from the horse. And that's because he senses all of the emotional energy has been drained out of the whip. It's harmless and it doesn't mean anything for him to respond to.